Welcome to a new winterizing video. We are working on our head, also a toilet, for those that aren't boat speak. But what we're going to do is, how do you winterize that? All right, it's pretty easy. We got a gallon of the, the pink antifreeze, and we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, we are on the maximum, but all these pump toilets, this is a manual pump toilet, not a power one. So we'll show you the steps we're going to go through to make this work. Don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, this is the toilet. So the first thing we're going to do is where it says to tank, we're going to switch to a river, release the handle, pump it a few times. See all the water we got from the river coming up out of the pump system. All right. Now we're going to switch to tank. We set that to the tank as much as we can. Looks like that's good. We're gonna put it back on river, all right? And we're gonna pour some water in. That'll allow it to go back up and through. All right, so there's a little water in there. Can we give us some pumps? See how it's going back? All right, that's getting us back the other way. Put a little more. All right, now we're going to switch it back to, uh, the, to the tank, and we're going to fill the bowl again. All right, so we got a fair amount in the bowl. You can see it's a pretty good amount. Now we're going to pump it to the tank. handle handle goes handle goes to lock now it's set leave this onto your tank so when you put it in the water you don't have water come through okay that was number one how easy it was to winterize our toilet all right now yes there's a little bit of water in the tank they never suck out but that ice will mound it won't crack your tank I've never had a tank crack when there's only a little bit of water so now we also have a shower pump all right uh, you can listen to that shower pump. I'll get you in there so you can see what it is. But uh, it's an electric pump that when you take a shower, pumps the water that's below the water line out of the boat. You don't want that full of water, you crack your pump. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the pink stuff again. All right, so we got our pink ready to go. Turn the pump on. Start feeding the pink in. You hear it all going out. That run it gets empty and shut it off. You don't want to let that run too long because you will uh, burn up your pump. We'll bump it a little bit later. As you can see, it's still dripping. All right. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Post notifications on. That's the easy way to do not just your shower pump. All right. Now, if that shower pump has a canister underneath, mine's a direct over. If you got one that's got a canister, you want to make sure you put probably a whole gallon because you want to make sure that the canister is full of antifreeze. Me, I just needed to clear the lines of the pump. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Post notifications on. Don't miss them. They're easy. They save you money. All right. So we showed you how to do the head shower pump. Now, if your boat has air, you need to know where the discharge is. I know it's my rearward one. All right. I have a pump, a bilge pump and a hose i'm gonna go like this I'm gonna hook it up i'm gonna put a five gallon bucket of the pink stuff here but i'm only putting in like a gallon gallon and a half it'll come out the bottom of the boat we'll go look for that but let's uh let's get the gallon over here and get it going hey look at that that'll work i think and it goes down pretty far let's see if that's gonna work Oh yeah, we're going to be good here. All right, so 
Got this battery on the ground, we'll hook the pump up, we'll start the pump, we'll get ready, we'll drop the pump in the bucket. Pumps rolling. Hose is against here. Make sure to push it real tight. Drop this into here. Oh. Unhook our pump. If you listen close, you can hear it siphoning through. And underneath the boat, and you can see right there where it's coming out. All right, there you go. Don't forget like and subscribe, post notifications on. Here's how to winterize your head, manual pump, Power pump's about the same. Run it, then dump the antifreeze, then run it again. Uh, make sure you close your valves to the outside of the boat. If you're at a marina where the water gets high, you don't want water in the winter coming up and freezing in there. Now, uh, you showed you how to do the air conditioner. Make sure you know which one's a discharge. There's also a sea strainer in the boat. If you got one and you got a plug in it, you can drain it. But we've back flushed it. We can blow it out. Beautiful. We'll put a little air through it. Clean as a whistle.